With just a few days remaining on the campaign trail, party leaders are scrambling to drum up last minute support for their candidates. As our Shin Semin reports, this time they're focused on their rivals' traditional strongholds. Less than seven days to the 20th parliamentary election, and the political party members are scrambling to win support for their candidates, bearing 20 to 30 minute schedule. Ruling party chief Kim Musang swept through Cholabukta province Wednesday morning, visiting Honam region for the first time, known for its strong opposition political party affiliation. Asking to vote for the Conservative Party candidates running in the region, Rolling Camp Chief appealed to break down regionalism for the coming election. And the Conservative Party's election committee has released a fifth round of campaign pledge related to economy on Wednesday, vowing to ease regulations on independent business owners. The main opposition, Minju Party of Korea's interim leader Kim Jong-in, too, continued a hectic schedule of campaigning, taking a tour around the capital Seoul, a key region where the outcome of the election is likely to be decided. Interim leader emphasized the party's goal once again at a televised discussion, saying that the election is not about the number of parliamentary seats, but is about how to save the country from such economic difficulties, calling to judge the Park administration's past four years. Visiting what used to be the Conservative Party's home ground, Minor People's Party co-chair An Chosu promised voters to overthrow the old politics and asked to fuel support to his party. Ahn told eligible voters that only his party can make progress in the parliament, where two-party system has been wasting time wrangling over matters regarding the people's livelihoods. He also proposed his negotiating party's counterparts to participate in a public debate where the party leaders can promise responsibility over their campaign pledges. Next up on the election calendar is the two-day early voting session that begins this Friday. Those who cannot vote on the election day can visit one of the 3,500 polling stations set up nationwide to cast their ballots. Shin Semin, Arirang News.